Velars are consonants articulated with the back part of the tongue against the soft palate, the back part of the roof of the mouth. Since the velar region of the roof of the mouth is relatively extensive and the movements of the dorsum are not very precise, velars easily undergo assimilation, shifting their articulation back or to the front depending on the quality of adjacent vowels. They often become automatically fronted, that is partly or completely palatal before a following front vowel, and retracted before back vowels. Palatalized velars are sometimes referred to as palativelas. Many languages also have labialized velars, such as K, in which the articulation is accompanied by rounding of the lips. There are also labial velar consonants, which are doubly articulated at the velum and at the lips, such as KP. This distinction disappears with the approximant W, since labialization involves adding of a labial approximant articulation to a sound, and this ambiguous situation is often called labia vela. A velar trill or tap is not possible. See the shaded boxes on the table of pulmonic consonants. In the velar position, the tongue has an extremely restricted ability to carry out the type of motion associated with trills or taps, and the body of the tongue has no freedom to move quickly enough to produce a velar trill or flap. The velar consonants identified by the International Phonetic Alphabet are lack of velars. The velar consonant K is the most common consonant in human languages. The only languages recorded to lack velars may be Zabanta, Tahitian Watung, Venemo, and Nori. Other languages lack simple velars. An aerial feature of the Pacific Northwest coast is that historical asterisk K became palatalized in many languages. When such sounds remained stops there were transcribed K in Americanist phonetic notation, presumably corresponding to IPAC, but in others. Such as Sarnish, Salish, and Chemicum, asterisk K went further and affricated to T. Likewise, historical asterisk K has become T, and historical asterisk X has become there was no asterisk G or asterisk N. In the Northwest Caucasian languages, historical asterisk K has also become palatalized, becoming K in Ubicum T in most Circassian varieties. In both regions the languages retain a labia vela series as well as uvula consonants. In the languages of those families that do retain plain velas, both the plain and labialized velas are actually pre-velar, perhaps to make them more distinct from the uvulas which may actually be post-velar. Provella consonants are susceptible to palatalization. A similar system, contrasting asterisk K with asterisk K and leaving asterisk K marginal at best, is reconstructed for Proto-Indo-European. Apart from the voice stop, no other velar consonant is particularly common, even the W and N that occur in English of course, does not occur in languages that lack voice stops, like Mandarin Chinese, but it is sporadically missing elsewhere. Of the languages surveyed in the World Atlas of Language Structures, about 10% of languages that otherwise have PBTDK are missing. Piraha has both a K and a phonetically. However, the K does not behave as other consonants, and the argument has been made that it is phonemically high, leaving Piraha with only as an underlying levela consonant. Hawaiian does not distinguish K from T. K tends toward K at the beginning of utterances T before I and is variable elsewhere, especially in the dialect of Niihau in Kaurai. Since Hawaiian has no N and W varies between W and V, it is not clearly meaningful to say that Hawaiian has phonemic velar consonants. Several Khoisan languages have limited numbers or distributions of pulmonic velar consonants. Koko, for example, does not allow velars in medial or final position, but in Ju, hone velars are rare even in initial position. Velar dorsal consonants. Normal velar consonants are dorso velar. The dorsum of the tongue rises to contact the velum of the roof of the mouth. In disordered speech there are also velo-dorsal stops with the opposite articulation. The velum lowers to contact the tongue, which remains static. 
In the extensions to the IPA for disordered speech, these are transcribed by reversing the IPA letter for a velar consonant, e.g., K for a voiceless velar dorsal stop. Bibliography. Lafage, Peter, Madison, Ian. The Sounds of the World's Languages. Oxford, Blackwell. ISBN 0-631-19814-8.